Oh no, there's a possibility that the Seahawks lose their all-star quarterback? So sad. Karasi Posse Packer Nation! Welcome to another episode of Packcast, the podcast where you don't have to be a Packers fan, but it sure does help. I'm your host, Tom. Anytime it looks like the Seahawks might suffer just a bit more, an angel gains their wings. Grossi, and today we'll be talking about what the internet is is a buzz with right now, and that's Russell Wilson being unhappy with the Seattle Seahawks. Now, it's important to mention that this is not necessarily a new story. There has just been new caveats that have been added to this story. A little while back, Russell Wilson made some comments that a lot of people looked at. It was like, oh, maybe there's a little trouble in paradise in Seattle. Basically saying that he was tired of getting hit. You know, the offensive line, which has been trash ever since he's been drafted. Russell Wilson's basically like, guys, like, I didn't even know how to run in college. I just had to learn behind this offensive line. That's how bad they are. I'm not even a mobile quarterback. And this started the rumor mill about maybe that he was going to request a trade. The Seattle Seahawks were like, no, that's never going to happen. Teams started calling. And it's come out recently, today, that over 10 teams have actually called and inquired about Russell Wilson. And the Seahawks, every time, are just like, no, no, thank you. It's basically that scene in Star Wars when Han Solo is like pushing the button and is like, everything's fine. How are you? And speaking of, I know this isn't Russell Wilson related, but it was also reported that teams are now calling the Texans and are leaving voicemails about their trade offers with Deshaun Watson, which is just... (laughs) That's really funny. I just imagine the Bears calling up and just be like, listen, Deshaun, baby, I know we should have drafted you instead of Mitch. We should have taken you when we had a chance. Please... Give us another chance. But heading back to Russell Wilson, the Bears are actually a part of this because it was reported today, Adam Schefter tweeted out that apparently Russell Wilson had not requested a trade. However, if there was to be a trade, he listed four teams that he would be willing to go to. And that's the Cowboys, the Saints, the Raiders, and the Chicago Bears. And it's also been reported that Russell Wilson's not only just pissed about the offensive line, he's also pissed off about the amount of power that he has within the offense. You saw the beginning of this season The Seahawks offense was incredible. Then you had around week eight in which things started to die down a little bit. It went back to like Pete Carroll football in which they were running the ball and the offense didn't do so hot. And obviously they got knocked out by the Rams in the playoffs. And Russell Wilson apparently wasn't too happy about this. Apparently he did have a say in the new offensive coordinator that was hired. So that most definitely is a positive. But it was also reported that he stormed out of a coach's meeting because his ideas weren't being listened to earlier this season. So it does seem like there is some tension, especially between Pete Carroll and Russell Wilson. And reportedly, Wilson has said that Pete Carroll basically answers to no one and he has complete control over that organization. So let's talk about why this wouldn't happen first. First of all, the cap hit would be absolutely incredible if Russell Wilson was to be traded. And while it could still be manageable, I don't think anybody wants that. Also, Pete Carroll is 70, so probably don't want to go full rebuild mode and start with a brand new fresh QB because that really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And Russell Wilson is only 32 years old and is still a really good player. Earlier this season, he was playing like an MVP and then trailed off, but you could also basically say that's part of the offensive game plan. Though I will say Russell Wilson did throw a few interceptions, but then again, I also will caveat with that. Did you see that Rams game in the playoffs? He got annihilated behind that offensive line. In addition, Wilson has a no trade clause in his contract, so he would actually get to choose what team he would go to. So if the Seahawks were trying to deal him and he didn't want to go to that team, he'd be like, nope, and put the kibosh on the entire thing. So Russell Wilson does have some power here. I will say though, under the new CBA, and we have talked about this with other players and potentially sitting out if things got that bad it really doesn't benefit Russell Wilson and if he sat out there's potential it wouldn't count towards his contract so there's basically a lose-lose situation for Russell Wilson here now there is a potential out in Russell Wilson's contract in 2022 so it would be after this season he he still would be 26 million dollars in dead cap which is pretty terrible but I mean that's not Carson Wentz numbers and the Eagles did that 
and he will officially be an unrestricted free agent in 2024 if he plays out the rest of his contract. So with all those being said, I don't think it's likely for the Seahawks to actually trade him unless they get blown away by an offer. But on top of that, they would have to get basically an early pick so they would go and draft a QB or they would have to get an already established QB that has a skill set that's at least somewhat similar to Russell Wilson so they can run away from the abysmal offensive line that is there in Seattle. Now, obviously, anything could happen here, and if Russell Wilson is that upset, he could decide to sit out, and the Seattle Seahawks are basically stuck between a rock and a hard place. And looking at the teams that he wants to go to, there's some interesting scenarios here. The Saints, I don't know with what cap they're going to sign Russell Wilson with because, yeah, that's just that's just not going to work, like at all. So I'm just going to ignore the Saints for a hot minute. The Cowboys do have a high-flying offense, and obviously with Dak Prescott's future in somewhat jeopardy, are they going to franchise tag him? Are they going to sign him to a long-term deal? Russell Wilson could be a really, really intriguing option there in Dallas. The Raiders are also an interesting option because they're in the AFC. So I feel like for the Seahawks, that would be the best move if things got really, really bad, just because then they really wouldn't have to worry about him in the AFC and only face him like once every four years. Then there's the Bears, which they don't really have an offensive line either. So that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But I mean, it's better than Mitch Trubisky, so that would be a positive. But then again, the Bears' track record with QBs isn't so hot. And I actually kind of like Russell Wilson. I just don't like the Seahawks. But then again, he would have to come to Lambeau every year, and we kick his ass in Lambeau. Could put the Bears in further cap hell. I mean, I wouldn't hate it. But in all likelihood, I think what this is going to come down to is Russell Wilson is expressing how unhappy he is, and he would hope that the Seahawks organization is going to make some changes. Whether it's including his input in the offensive scheme, whether it's the whole let Russ cook, not for just eight weeks of the season, and letting him essentially be that franchise QB and prove that he's worth all of this money. But there's just a ton of negatives for the Seahawks to essentially trade away Wilson. Similar to what I was talking about with Deshaun Watson. The Texans have been very adamant that they're not trading him just because it doesn't make any sense. They have a QB who's in the prime of his career and he's playing amazingly. Why would they give that up unless the deal was so lucrative they literally couldn't turn it down? And who knows? There's a lot of QB needy teams out there. Obviously, the reduced cap for this year does hurt and potentially restrict a lot of QB carousel movement. But there's been crazier things, so... Let's see. Well, let me know what you think down in the comments below. You think Wilson's actually going to get traded, or you think this is just him being like, hey, guys, can you do something? Thanks. Appreciate it. Let me know. You can always find me at TomGrossyComedy.com or at TomGrossyComedy on all social media you see down below. Check out podcasts on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play Music, Spotify, and, of course, YouTube. And a big shout and thank you to all the patrons over at Patreon.com slash TomGrossyComedy and the YouTube members. But thank you so much for watching. I'm Tom Grassy. And as always, go Pack Go. Thank you.